Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part one of a blog series on family of parts. In this blog, we'll look at creating a family of parts. A family of parts is a collection of similar parts in different sizes or with slightly different detailing features. You can construct one source part in a solid edge part or sheet metal file, then use the Family of Parts Edit Table dialog box to specify the part configuration for each family member. This allows you to manage all the necessary information for a part family in one document using a spreadsheet format. A family of parts can be defined with both synchronous and ordered features. It's worth noting that there are some differences between the two paradigms due to the differences in how the models are created. You can construct one master solid edge part, then use the Family of Parts Edge Bar tab or the Family of Parts Edit Table dialog box to specify the configuration for each family member. Individual family members are defined by typing a member name, then suppressing features or constructions and setting variable values. You can add, remove, rename, copy, and edit members with the Family of Parts Edit Table dialog box. The basic steps are as follows. First, create and define the source part and make this your first member. Next, define a new member. Then use either the Family of Parts Edge Bar tab or the Family of Parts Edit Table dialog box to specify the configuration for the new member. This is done by suppressing features or constructions, setting variable values, and defining certain unique file properties. Repeat these steps to create and configure each new family member that you want. Verify and save all the members, then populate the members. It's important to note that Family of Parts is not available when more than one design body exists in a part or sheet metal document. When working with families of parts, you should not place the source part document into an assembly or a drawing. You should use the Populate Members button on the Family of Parts Edit Table dialog box to create new documents for individual family members. You can then place the member documents into an assembly or a drawing. There are several reasons for not placing the source document into an assembly. For example, the geometry in the source document can change depending on which family of parts member is activated. We'll examine more of these reasons in part two of this blog series. Solid Edge delivers a family of parts tutorial which is available to help you learn how to create, edit, and populate a family of parts. To access this tutorial, go to the File menu, select the Discover tab, and select on the Learn header. Then under Help and Tutorials, click on the Tutorials link. Scroll down the list of tutorials and locate the Family of Parts tutorial, and select the Click to Begin link. Let's have a look at a Family of Parts demonstration in Solid Edge. Notice that I've already created my source part and named it FOP. Also notice that this is an ordered part and I have a suppressed chamfer feature. I want to use this feature on a larger member. On the Edge Bar tool, I'll open the Family of Parts tab. To assign my source part as my first member, I click on the New button. In the New Member dialog, I'll give this member a unique name of 3-hole. This name will also be used for the populated part file, so make it a descriptive part name. Notice that the Suppressed Chamfer is listed in the Suppressed Ordered Feature window. With my first member created, I'll select the new button again to create a second member. This one I will call 4-hole. Notice that only the member's name has changed in the Family of Parts tab. The new member has inherited all of the current characteristics of the first part. 
To make changes to my second member, I click on the Edit Table button to open the Family of Parts Edit Table. I will scroll down to the Variables section and make the following edits. I'll increase the flange diameter variable to 145. I'll increase the flange thickness to 18. The boss diameter, I'll increase that to 75. For the boss thickness, I'll make that 40. For the bore diameter, I'll change that to 45. For the mounting hole diameter, let's change that to 20. I'll also increase the pattern count to 4. And for my last change, I'll scroll down to the bolt circle diameter and change that to 124. I'll then scroll back to the top of the table. I'll save this by clicking on the Save Table Data button, position the cursor over the column heading named Four Hole, and click to select the column. I then click the Apply Member button to view the new member part on the display screen. To display any member, just highlight the column and click the Apply Member button. To make future edits easier, I can right mouse button click on the Variables header and select the Show Only Overridden Variables option from the shortcut menu. Notice that only the overridden variables now appear in the edit table. Next, I'll click on the New Member button in the edit table. I'll name my third member Six Hole. For this member, I want to unsuppress the chamfer feature. I'll also modify the variables with the following changes. I'll make the flange diameter 160, the flange thickness 25, the boss diameter 85, the boss thickness 50, the bore diameter 55, the mounting hole diameter 22, the pattern count 6, and the bolt circle diameter 136. Once again, I'll save these changes and display the new member. Before I close the edit table, I want to show all the variables again. I'll now close the edit table by clicking OK. Notice that the members are listed on the Family of Parts tab. Any suppressed features or modified variables are also listed. I can cycle through these members and display them as needed. With my Family of Parts complete, I'll save the master file. Now I want to populate these members into their own associative part files. To do this, I open the edit table and click on the Select All Members button. I then select the Populate Members button. I get this message telling me that I have three members selected, and I click Yes to continue. This starts the population of the members. When completed, you will notice a chain link symbol in the Status column appear to indicate that the new family member documents you created are associatively linked to this document and are up to date. Next, I right mouse button click over the highlighted members and on the shortcut menu, I select the Members Open Members option. On the View tab in the Window group, I will click Arrange and then on the Arrange dialog box, choose the Tiled option. Notice that I have my source or parent file and the three members opened in Solid Edge. In the part two of this blog series, we'll look at how to use the members in assemblies. Want to learn more? Sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here, where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how-to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-242-4444.
215 1883.